Hey guys, how's it going? I'm painting a wall. That was pretty obvious. I didn't need to explain that. Sometimes, <laughs> where am I painting? Why am I painting? That might be more of a question. This tour with, uh, with this van, it's been pretty interesting. I have uh, been able to meet a lot of different companies. I've gotten some stuff for free, which has been pretty nice. Some of the stuff is discounted. Some of the stuff I paid full price for. Beyond the, the stuff, I've actually had a real opportunity to meet the companies involved in all of these products. As a matter of fact, uh, yesterday I got a call from Eberspacher, the, the heater company, and I was talking with him about Rickson's Enterprise, the company in charge of the, the other components for the heating system, and we were discussing about how different parts of the van are going to go together and how different pieces of the puzzle will go together but I'm, I've also like he'll bring up a, a, a guy from a different company and he'll say oh have you talked to so-and-so and I'll say yeah I did talk to so-and-so and it's sort of like a little bit like a big family even competitors in this field do sort of get along as as well as you know as well as you're expected to but one of the companies that I've really enjoyed uh, spending time with is just roaming design here in well, it was in Washougal, Washington, but now we're in Portland, Oregon. Now, uh, Just Roaming Design is the company that is affiliated with another company called Victron, which is really big. Victron Energy specializes in inverters and batteries and DC switches and monitoring components for your off-grid systems. And so the owner of Just Roaming Design, his name is Sam, is an ambassador for Victron. And in being an ambassador, he kind of picked up the job of helping me out with my install and counseling me on how to set up my electrical system. And through him, I, I found a person to do my, my uh, heating system in the floor. He actually cut the floor. But beyond all of that, beyond like actual sponsorship opportunities, beyond the actual usage of using his talents to help me further my van build, we become buddies and he's a nice guy and he's a young guy and I see a lot of like ambition in him and growth and I, I really uh, like to not only be friends with people like that because they in, in, ter in turn help you grow but I like to be involved with people like that like I like to help people like that grow that's one of the reasons why I stayed in Portland instead of going to Detroit, which was my original mission was to gather everything together and go to Detroit. I thought maybe I can finish the entire van build here in just roaming. And I was looking at options for doing it, but eventually I approached Sam and I said, Hey Sam, would you be interested in helping me finish the build? I'm going to need, you know, just advice. I'm going to need access to some space and some components. Um, I'm going to need, you know, design help and uh, uh, help in, in fabricating some of these components like the cabinets and wiring everything up. There's a lot of things that I needed help with. And to be, to be honest, it was a big ask because Sam's got a lot of things going on. He's not only the ambassador to Victron, but he's got a lot of partnerships going on with different companies involved in off-grid energy. So anyways, I am in a pretty big facility here. This is the soon to be, well, I think it is. This is the new location for just roaming design. Wild because the facility that we had been at uh, was in Washougal, Washington. He was vastly outgrowing that place, like very quickly. All of the jobs that he had were, were outgrowing the capabilities of that space. And so he came across this space here. And it is really big. What he's going to do with this place is going to be pretty cool. Uh, over there, he's going to have the CNC machine cutting floors, cutting cabinets, cutting, cutting anything. Back there, I'll show you later, is all the... Actually, that, that spot right there, that's all of the components for the, uh, for the van. So he's, he's allowed me a space to, to build my van in. And he's also going to help me with design and his team is going to be involved in it and whatnot. This whole place is going to evolve into a facility for building off-grid energy systems. I actually told him a long time ago, I says, Sam, whatever I can do to help you out, man, I, I have a big van. I says, it's empty right now. If you want, I can, I can use it to transport stuff. And I've helped him pick up 
a couple of cabinet projects from uh, CNC shop and move it to Washugal and, and back and forth a couple of times. N nothing major, but whatever I could do. So when I asked him if he could help me to finish the van, which is a pretty big job. I mean, there's still a lot left to do in that van. He said, um, sure, would you be willing to help me uh, get the shop into ship shape? And so uh, I am here with a roller. Uh, he's sort of given me the ability to work here and I'm, I'm painting the shop, putting a coat of white paint on the walls. Yeah, so right now this place is basically open to possibilities. You'll have an area way over here where you'll have all the vans being built. You can have like four or five vehicles there. And then you can also drive the vehicles through and pass them out through that way. Carpentry area, and then he'll have the CNC area, and then he'll have an electronics area where he's wiring things up. Not to mention, one of the most important things when you own a facility like this, he'll have a lot of racking. And so you'll have all sorts of racks and stuff. As a matter of fact, last night until like 10 or 11 o'clock, I went ahead and uh, sheared off a whole bunch of threaded bolts that were uh, protruding from the from the floor because previously he, this place had racks all over the place and they were bolted to the ground. And so all the, <laughs> the bolts were sticking out of the ground. So a lot of sparks were flying yesterday. Uh, I mean, a lot. I mean, I was pulling, pulling them all up. But this here, this wall, this is all my stuff. So we've got the adventure wagon kit. Then we've got my awning here from Dometic, uh, which is an automatic awning with lights on it, LED lights, a Dometic refrigerator. We've got the Zamp solar panels over the wheel well water tank, my gray water tank, cruising comfort air conditioning system, samples of different sorts of materials for the uh, roof of the deck of the deck of the van. We've got materials from Perfect Fit. Then we've got the heating, uh, air heating system and the hydronic heating system components, my sink, my fans. Down below we've got my batteries and stuff. Pretty much everything is, is right here, which is pretty neat. Once all of this wall becomes empty, the van will be finished. As a matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring the van in here and you can, you can get an idea of just how, um, just how big this place is. Now tell me this isn't a nice place to finish up your van, huh? It's cool to have the van here and all of the stuff here at one place. I've sort of scattered. Some of it was in the van, some of it was in Washugal, some of it was here, but now it's all here. I don't gotta worry about weather. It's pretty warm in here. If, you, if I close these doors, this, this place is very insulated. So yeah, this is gonna be home base for a little while. All right, I better continue painting. I'll catch you later. Never driven a high load before. It's kind of cool. <laughs> it's a lot of power. Anyways, this wall is all finished. It's very bright. Next up, I got to do this whole wall. So I got to move everything, move everything over, and uh, tackle one one section at a time. Let's go. All right, uh, it's ten o'clock. It's been a long day, but we got the walls painted. I did some organizing here. Tomorrow I'll come back here and there'll be a couple more people here working. I'll be here for quite some time. So you'll, you'll get to know this place pretty well. It'll, it'll go through a lot of changes as uh, Just Roaming Design start, starts to develop and uh, the infrastructure of this place starts to take shape. Anyways, we'll talk to you later. Jayo, uh, on another note, my Annie called me from Ningbo and I guess they had their first COVID case and uh, a section of the city is going to go through pretty mass testing and and so anyways Annie's giving me the rundown on it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.